So yes, going by our experience, if you go here to the beach, be wary because the waves can be really strong and you can get wet. Don't be like us. Primary victim is the bag of Aludia. Yes! <laughs> We're now Vinahasha. <laughs> But yeah, it was quite funny but also unfortunate because we were already making our way back. We we saw the waves and we were avoiding it, but then as we turned our backs and started walking, suddenly this huge wave came in and that's why we got wet. This is the Diamond Beach, but I don't think there's enough ice right now. Like, there's just so few of it, I think. So I guess at this time of the year, there's not much ice. There's not so much, but look, I think that's Elsa. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, it's Elsa. Where are you 
going? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> he came back like... with a smaller <laughs> stick. Allah, cute. Wow. Hello. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Press, it, press it. <laughs> Give it to me. No. Hey, give, give me the stick. Come on, hey, come on, hey, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want to give me the stick. Okay, bye. <laughs> I want to try to throw stick now. Chaka na batero. Hey. So there's the dog's owner. Do you notice his outfit? He's just wearing t-shirt and shorts. And it's so cold outside. And I'm a bit jealous because because the dog lets him throw the stick, but the dog doesn't let me do it. <laughs> I want to throw the stick too. So it's day number three now and I had to take out the rain jacket because the weather is rather gloomy today. Anyhow, for today, it's going to be quite a short drive as we head off to our next destination, but I'm sure that it will still be quite an enjoyable ride. So as I was driving on this kind of road, we just had to stop here because it looks so beautiful. Look at that! Over there is a very beautiful waterfall. So I'm literally experiencing all four seasons here in Iceland. Accommodation for the day is owned by the family that's living in this house. They made this new cottage right here and it's so cozy. It's like in the middle of nowhere. No neighbors at all. So this is how our cottage looks like. It's small but it's rather cozy and it smells new. Oh, it looks so nice. And the bedroom's right here. Meanwhile, the toilet is quite modern. Wait, where's the light? Yep. And the small kitchen over here. So right now I'm going to prepare dinner. Actually, just a salad. So let's get started. So cold right now. At our window is frosted. How how do we how do we do this? <laughs> I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> do we wait? <laughs> so it's our first time to encounter this, and I'm googling how to defrost the window. And it says that we need to put it on the frost setting. I don't know what is the frost here. Ito ko rin yun ang apparently nakauto para rin ang unmo ko no. It should. It, it knows what to do. So now it's the first day. <laughs> we can leave. over to the Dedifoss waterfalls which is said to be the most powerful waterfall in Europe and as you can see we're walking on the snow and it's minus four degrees four. right now four point. but it's actually good because it's not windy so it's manageable so this way goes to Dedifoss if you go the other way, you can go to Selfos. Just like it's smaller waterfall. So we're now 
on to our second stop and the smell is horrible it smells like rotten eggs but actually if I compare it to the ones that I smelled when I was in New Zealand's Rotorua Rotorua was a lot worse either way let's go and get closer actually I take it back as you get closer the smell gets a lot worse 